I'm about to start work right now, man. And I'm about to, you know, uh, get some water and stuff. And right now I'm at the gas stations and I was thinking about something. And, you know, uh, I'm going to say this just one time, man. Well, I might say it another, another time or whatever. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do in order for things to work. Now. I met this chick a while back. I told you guys about this last video. Met this chick a while back. She's not the best looker in the world. Now, if she dropped weight, she would look, you know, at least at, at a six. Right now, she's at a three or four. Okay? Now, when I look at other pretty women and shit like that, I don't see them... I don't see them helping me, you know. The mission is to get my music equipment, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody else going to try to help you. Now, if you got one person that's trying to help you buy music equipment, help you get out of struggling, you have to roll with that person. You can't just look at just looks right at this point. I can get a better looking woman, you know what I'm saying? But is that better looking chick gonna help me with them with the music equipment? Now this bra got potential to help me with this music e equipment in the future. You know what I'm saying? During during this fucking quarantine, you know, I've been thinking a lot. I haven't been really listening to music. I haven't been really looking at YouTube videos except the uh, LMS video. And I look at a few channels, that's about it. But most of the time, I got the music and YouTube and social media shut off from my mind. I, I do my work and I think while I'm working. Because you can't think with a bunch of noise in the background and shit. I find out that you can look, I mean, you can think a lot clearer when there's nothing in the fucking background making noise. Now. I got two options. I can roll with this bra that's gonna help me build my music equipment and help me get out of the struggle. Or I could just leave this bitch alone and just try to do it all myself, which is gonna be a harder world. If I gotta lay the pipe down with this bra, I gotta lay the pipe down. Do I like doing it? Hell no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, dude, I, the first time, you know, we had sex, I was so horny that, you know, it, it got hard. The second time we had, uh, we got into the bed with each other, I just didn't feel like doing it. It was just like, dude, this girl, she's a big girl, man. She's, you know, to answer your question, Johnny P, yeah, this is a bra that I don't like being seen in public with. She's fat. Am I going to have kids with this bra? No. But I'm going to use her to get to where I got to go. And you know what? I don't really feel, I don't feel sorry or feel, I don't have no remorse because you know what? I've been used by women. I've been used and abused. This one chick, one time, she used me to help her uh, move all her furniture out of her house I think I told you guys about this, where I, I fucking helped this bro move all our furniture out of our house onto a, a moving van or a truck or whatever. And then after I did that for her, she broke up with me, but she did give me some poo tang in the, in, the, in the process. So, but yeah, but I still felt, I felt used. Yeah, I, I was a straight captain saver hoe. I was a dude in his twenties. But sometimes when you see an opportunity, you got to take it. This is my opportunity. She looked like she's doing everything that I say. Right now, she's trying to lose weight. She's fasting and stuff right now. She's mimicking me right now. Because I fast. You know, I haven't ate nothing all day until, um, was it 4 o'clock? I had a cheat meal like around 8 p.m. You know what I'm saying? Last night, I had that pizza and, that, and, that, and them, them, them two cookies. But before I had the pizza and two cookies, I fasted the whole entire day because I knew I was going to eat junk. 
So I didn't eat anything the whole entire day, but some Gatorade and water. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you got to do something. I mean, sometimes you got to do things that you don't normally want to do to be successful. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might have to lay with a with a fat chick. You know what I'm saying? She she got the bread, she got the money. I'm not gonna date a fucking broad that's a that's an eight, nine, or a ten that's gonna drain my pockets out. You know what I'm saying? I won't I be getting some good sunshine pussy, but yet I'm not gonna, you know, I'm 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 not making any progress. I'm all about progress, dude. You know what I'm saying? And if I can find another chick that's big, that's going to give me some money to help me with my goals in my life, I'm going to do it, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel shame about it because I feel like it's a, it's a more of a strategy move. You know what I'm saying? This life is about decisions. You make good decisions based on making progress. You know what I'm saying? You know, you'll get somewhere in life. You know what I'm saying? You make good decisions based on progress, you'll get somewhere. But if you just want to uh, make bad decisions, you know, you're not going to get anywhere, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be in that same boat, you know, working for somebody else for the rest of your life. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I don't want to be. Now, she's going to lose weight, and it's, it's going to make me, you know, feel a lot better by getting into the bed with her. Because right now, this girl's fat. You know what I'm saying? And she's fat. You know, women do the same thing where they use a beta bucks, you know, for his cash to get to get to the get to the next level. This guy might be looking like a a a a, a, a crispy critter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and she's still gonna lay with him because she she got to. She in order for her to to fucking blow up, like Cardi B, she probably slept with a bunch of tricks that she didn't want to sleep with. Look what she had now. I mean, enough said. Just look at her. I don't have to say nothing else. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with dudes. You got looks. You use them looks to get you where you got to go. And that's why I look like this. That's the reason why I run, stay in shape. Because I want women that's beneath me. That's a, that's a lower caliber to do what I say. So I can fucking lead her and myself to a better life. Now, when I, well, I'm not going to just use her and dump her off somewhere. You know what I'm saying? When I become successful, I give her a piece too. But this bra, if she lost weight, let me tell her, if she, if she lost weight, because she got pretty eyes, she got a nice eye area. You know what I'm saying? If she lost weight, she would be looking good. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing right now. She want to lose weight while we doing this quarantine and this lockdown shit. Right now, she she brought she brought a whole entire home, home gym. She took her money, what she got right now. She took her money, brought a home gym just recently. I saw her do it. Okay? Now, how she's going to act when she loses weight and she start getting more options, I don't know. I'm taking a gamble. You know what I'm saying? But... It would be easier for me to lay with her if she loses the weight. So she's trying right now. Yesterday, she did a 24-hour fast. She didn't eat nothing for 24 hours. That's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? And she said she said that I'm, motiv I'm motivating her to lose the weight. You know what I'm saying? So we both helping each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm helping her lose weight. She's helping me. Well, she don't know she's helping me get the music equipment. But she's going to help me get that music equipment that I have to get back to. I fucked up and took the wrong route, man. And now I'm using this quarantine shit and this uh, this lockdown to get back to my, my road that I was on. I was working with uh, singers, rappers, and stuff like that. And I, I quit. I did that shit for five years. I did music for five years and quit. But I really had music equipment for only a few years, though. I had, like, a little tiny beat machine and two speakers that I used to make beats on before I got the big, big uh, shit. And I think I, like, no, no, I, I did music strong for five years with the, with the music equipment. I had, like, a, a, a Triton. You know, I had, like, a microphone. I had speakers, computer. 
know what I'm saying? Once I start getting that shit piece by piece, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to set up shop wherever I can. If I can't do it here, I'm going to have to leave the state. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like there's people out here trying to stop me from living my dream. And I fell victim to distractions. You know what I'm saying? That's where we can't go. That's where we go wrong. We we fall victim to distractions. You know what I'm saying? How I lost the weight, I got disciplined. I stayed focused. Now, I have always had dreams, big dreams, man. You know, of of driving Lamborghinis, Maseratis, and and, 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 and uh, Astrid Martins and shit like that. I had big dreams when I was doing music. I had, I knew that I could do it at that point, but I fucked up. I got off track. I became undisciplined. I became more of an alcoholic, and I blew up and gained weight, you know what I'm saying, and wondering why females wasn't fucking with me, man. You know what I'm saying? So once I, I, got still, I still got some looks left, and I'm going to use my looks to get to where I got to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm being more smart this time. It pays to be smart. You know what I'm saying? It pays to be smart. You have to make sure you stay on a smart path. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, I can't just be, you know, I could be picky and choosy, yeah. I, but when it comes to, like, who's going to help me get to the next level, I can't be like, oh, uh, you know, no. We're picking the chick right here because she got potential, and I have to go with what my brain says go. Now, now, laying down with her, that's a different story. You know, I have to go to corner stores and pop pills and shit. You know, some of them rhino pills, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that they be selling at 7-Eleven and shit. I pop one of those, man. I got, I got to go to work. I got to put the work in. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit harder for us because we got to get our dicks hard. Females, when you go and, and get a dude's money or whatever, you just lube up your pussy and let him, let him stick it in. He, the motherfucker get hard. You know what I'm saying? And you just let, you, you let him stick, you know, uh, his dick in and he let you go shopping with a, with a credit card. That's the trade off. The beta bucks. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But it's the same thing with us dudes. We use our looks to get to the next step in life. I don't want to be struggling for the rest of my life, man. Who wants to struggle and be always pinching pennies and shit? Fuck that. We are gonna use this, this uh, quarantine, this 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 uh, what they call the the the, the Roni or whatever, you know, um, uh, 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 this virus and stuff that's going on right now. Use it this time to get over. You know, stack as much bread as you possibly can to get to the next level, man. You know, and another thing, man, we gotta start thinking like rich men. Stop being a consumer and be an owner, man. A producer. Stop being a consumer and be a producer. You know what I'm saying? You know, start controlling some of that uh that 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 that, that pulse that gets you to buy things. You know, when people buy shit on pulse, you know, what they call it, a uh, uh, buyer's re buyer's pulse or something like that. I forgot what it is, but stop buying stuff. But stop buying stupid shit, man. That's the stuff we gotta fucking use the money, you know, to get your get your ass over in life with, man. Don't stop using the money that you need to get you get over in life. Go after your dreams. It don't, I don't matter. I don't care if you're 50 years old, man. Go after opening your own business. There's a lot of dudes that get started later later in life because they figure it out. They're like, man, this shit ain't gonna never change unless I change. I'm out. You guys have a good day. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and a comment. Click the, move. Click the notification bell so you would never, ever, ever miss another video from me. I got to go to work. Peace out. And donate to the, to the channel if you can.